Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show how to restrict an user to send in only specific domain and block sending any external email. So the use case is, uh, let's say in your organization you want your accounts user only to send email to specific banking domains and they cannot send any other external email to any external addresses. So they just can only communicate with the specific domain. So it could be your accounts, or it could be your finance section. So we just restrict them to send email to only specific domain and the other domain they cannot send any email. So to do that, you need to log in to your admin portal. I need to go to exchange. So you can accomplish this goal uh, by setting a rule and in uh, Exchange Admin Center. So you click on uh, Mail Flow, click on Rules. So click on Add a Rule, create a new rule. So let's say give it a name. Name as a restrict, uh, let's say accounts. So apply the rule if, so this part is very important, so apply the rule if uh, the recipient, okay, so the recipient is external or internal, so if the recipient is outside of the organization, so you select that, so if the recipient that the mail is sent to is an outside of the organization, let's click on and then you click on another condition and in here you define the sender in your organization the person you wanted to control is this person and let's say you add your accounts people in here so this two person is working in an, our accounts department so these two person you want to restrict them to send email to uh, not send uh, to any uh, other external domain only to specific for a uh, for a uh, uh, limited domain so uh, first this done now do the following so what they do they to block messages so in block messages you could do with an explanation or with a uh, status quote or you know reject this message without notifying anyone so let's say uh, with an explanation okay uh, let's say cannot send external email or you can just you know uh, delete this without notifying notifying so uh, it's your wish so uh, this uh, rules is done to you know restrict this to sender to send email any uh, you know uh, external domain not in your organization external domain they cannot send any own email but their internal email communication is still functional so now to accomplish our second goal that they can only uh, send email to a specific domain as they are working in an account section so they need to send email to the banks so you need to allow this uh, banking domain so now we are uh, creating an exception rule exception if if then select the recipient if the recipient if their domain is click on the domain let's say uh, Uh, add some domain let's say for the banking domain okay so uh, so you just uh, add some uh, you know banking domain in here uh, uh, you can add uh, multiple domain now click on save so let's uh, review our uh, rules in here so if the recipient is uh, not in the organization that means is outside of the organization and the sender is this specific persons uh, what the message could do it to block this message and uh, give them an explanation that cannot send external email so when they send an email to outside organization they will get this notification they cannot send email to our 
external uh, uh, domain or the external addresses and the exception rule is they can send email only this allowed domain or you can you can add add your uh, you know uh, uh, other domain if you want uh, so this way you can you know restrict uh, your user to you know send email to uh, uh, only some uh, only your authorized domain or only allowed domain they are allowed to send email so uh, this way you can you know have a control uh, control uh, their activities uh, obviously it came from the management of you know uh, some uh, requirement from the uh, from the management part so if they want you can restrict them so click on next uh, if there is an in, in course yeah Enforce now, let's finish this. <coughs> well, perfect. So, uh, the transfer rule created successfully. Click on done and don't forget to you know enable this rule because uh, most of the time we just created the rules but forget to enable it. So, just uh, click on enable. And it would take some time to update the rule status. So once uh, it's done, give it some time. It will, it might take some time. Uh, time. So updating the rule status. So yes, now the rule updated successfully. So you're good to go. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you.